What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. That's right, two episodes in one day. Took an afternoon trade that's worthy of a recap. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this video here. Now, as, as you know, if you already saw this morning's uh, recap, um, my this is my day trading account since day trading. I use the cash account and I use it for swing trades. My margin account, I actually drafted money out of there and put it in here so that I can partake in this GME um, swing trade with a share size that was worthy. Uh, you know, I wanted at least a thousand shares of this. My risk reward was definitely perfect for it. So um, I had to transfer money out of my margin account into this one because the bank transfer that I had, in, I had started wasn't gonna get there in time. So because of this, my margin account now is underneath PDT while the transfers settle so that I can put my money back in there and have everything perfect and, and I can trade with it day trading. I just found out, you know, today that the, the margin, I'm sorry, the transfer doesn't settle until Friday. And this is why I always have plenty of my money in my margin account. And when I draft money out, like I did over the summer, I drafted some money out to pay myself. I uh, I always leave at least thirty thousand dollars in there, and I and it was already over, well over thirty thousand um, dollars. But when I drafted out to buy this, I drafted out like thirteen thousand eight hundred, fourteen thousand bucks. You know that took a chunk already there, so you know no fun uh, on that. So, so that's the reason why I haven't been able to you know day trade in the margin account itself. As you see, no positions, no orders because. I can't take an order. I can't take a trade on here. Otherwise, I won't be able to sell it until the next day, and that's not about to happen. I uh, actually wanted to trade earlier this morning, and I just couldn't. So I've been just babysitting this GME, which is doing great. Like I've said, uh, let me switch back over to the account where that's at. Boom! So GME is in there. This is my hard stop that I have out there, uh, up nicely on this trade. But you know, looking to see if we can get that move. Uh, up over 15, you know, up over 15. I'm not going to, I'm not looking to sell anything until probably first take profits in the 16s, mid 16s. And then hopefully we get up there to those 18 and 20s. So that would be ideal. So be a monster trade if that happens. Now, uh, today I already posted one recap this morning, uh, along with a review of the Webull, uh, desktop platform, which is pretty cool. If you're interested in that, Link in the description section below. You download the app, you fund your account with a hundred bucks. You're gonna end up getting three free stocks now, so that's great. Uh, so take advantage of that. And uh, this morning we had MRIN. It's the leading, uh, you know, the leading penny stock. If I can get my scanner over here, uh, this thing just popped out. It has news today. Uh, I believe it was a merger news. You see it right here. These are the trade idea scanners. Link in the description section below with 15% off coupon code. And uh, MRIN was, it's just been a monster, honestly. Uh, as you can see, well, that's the 15 minute chart. Let's come on over here to the three minute chart. It sold off and then aggressively, and then boom, it took over VWAP and just went. And uh, I didn't, you know, trade any of this or this, but I did tweet out. If you don't follow me on Twitter, link in the description section below to my Twitter. I tweeted out this morning, this afternoon, or like around lunchtime, like a little around one something. I was I come out on lunch. And MRIN is holding this $4 area, you know, we can see for an afternoon squeeze. Now, it didn't hold it exactly how I would have preferred it, much cleaner, but it, it did start, a, it's just started to hurt uh, a, a trend. They're going by a trend that's been going on this week. And this is a trend that I remember from last year where it would just be bear traps in the afternoon. You would get this consolidation. It would break underneath VWAP, quickly reclaim VWAP, you know, and then squeeze out. This one didn't squeeze out like I thought it would all the way. So I ended up taking profits early. Now you might say, Jesse, where did you trade this? Did you trade it on the Webull account? No, nah, I actually was over on my Mac and saw what was going on and said, you know what? I, I can't trade it on my Charles Schwab because of what's going on until my money settles. I can't trade it on the Webull because I got to bring up the desktop platform and not fluid in it. So what did I do? I brought up Robinhood. That's right. I still have money and there. I always have a few bucks generally and uh, brought up Robinhood on my Mac and uh, traded it right there on the web platform and banged out almost a $700 winner. Can't complain about that, guys. So I jumped in right in here uh, when we started to break above VWAP here and I had my target set out, boom, right in this pivot, break over five and high a day. 
now high they didn't come so i took profit off as we started to come back down and wound up with a real nice take profit and what i'm going to show you here are my orders and then after that you'll see a little clip of my live trade now the live trade wasn't screen captured like it normally is no 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 it wasn't because this was all in the moment this was actually captured like if it was a home movie on my phone I literally was like, I'm gonna record this for the guys, boom. And I just posted, and I just posted myself up here as I was doing, handling the trade and recorded my, my desktop with my with my phone. So I'll show you a little clip of that here. The trade was only a minute and change. So you'll see that, but first I'm gonna show you my orders because I wanna make sure you see those. So let me get those real quick. Tree, you can see everything there, yep. So my entry starter 500 shares at 425 add 500 more at 427 started taking profits 250 shares off at 462 that's not bad from down here 425 500 shares off again at 512 boom 250 shares that were less that were last left at 489 as we were coming back down so the trade was right here like i said boom add then took some profit off up here at 460s uh, and then took some more profit off as we squeezed over five dollars and then when we started to come back down i just banged out of the rest uh because the simple fact that while i expect this thing to maybe squeeze up to the highs and break over generally speaking uh, on the third day of these type of patterns they don't go as strong and because today is the third day of these type of patterns I'm not looking to be greedy. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the profit. It, it didn't just continue going. Had this continued going and broken over, then I would have been different. I would have held on to those last 250 shares a little bit longer, been a little bit greedier on them with my target, which my actual target was around $6 for the last big profit. So, you know, it didn't do what I wanted. So I got out of the way. I, said, I always say I can re-enter the trade and I can if I want to. Uh, and I'll just keep watching it from here on out. But let me show you that quick clip here of my live. Let's go. You can get it done on any broker, man. Quick profits. Okay, so there you have it. You saw the actual live trade itself, and uh, you know it was nice take profit, six hundred and seventy eight bucks made. Uh, you can't complain never about something like that. So that was something that was unexpected today because of the circumstances I have uh, laid out before you. Tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to day trade. So you know, chances are Friday is when I'll be able to transfer the money that goes into my cash account back into my margin account and uh gme will still be sitting here in my cash account until it does its thing you know this is a swing trade i've been in this trade now since uh partial of the trade i opened up on i want to say friday or thursday of last week and uh, i took partial profits off on that already on monday uh, had some calls and some more shares 
and now I'm holding on to this bulk, looking for the move um, up all over 15 bucks. You know that that can squeeze us maybe to to that 20 dollar zone area, right? So I'm looking to take some off in the 16s, maybe some more off in the 18, 19, and hold on to a little piece to see if we get that $20 break. If we get it, oh my God, this is going to be huge. If we don't, then it still be a big trade and I'm going to be really, really happy with it. So for right now, I'm just going to keep sitting in that trade in that cash account and uh, letting it do its thing. As you see, I'm up 417 bucks. Uh, GME right here is, it's beautiful. It's just consolidating, consolidating so nicely. Uh, you know, look at this. This is this is a thing of beauty. This cup and handle here. It's getting really, really tight. Any day now, this thing can just squeeze these shorts. It has a huge short position. I like to watch it on the hourly chart more than the 15 minute chart. Just so much more cleaner. Uh, it's almost like you have one cup and handle uh, followed by like a mini cup and handle here. So you know, definitely going to continue watching this. Uh, my stop, like I've said multiple times, is 13.50. If we break underneath that, I'll probably stop out of this trade. And if uh, we dip down to 13s and hold it, you know, kind of form a little bear trap, I might jump right back into it uh, because you can always get back into the trades if the idea is still there, sound and whole. So, you know, that's that's the plan for this. But I don't think, you know, ideally, I hope it doesn't break under 14 again. <coughs> the daily is looking great. We keep making higher lows, which is beautiful. That's going to make these shorts uncomfortable. You know, higher low, higher low, higher low. And uh, any day now, this thing's just going to squeeze, uh, I think. And if it does, it's going to be a masterpiece of a short squeeze. So I'm super excited about that one. I'm going to hold on to it. You know, the chart still says that we're bullish. The chart is showing me that there's strength. And Every day there's a little dip and it's to the same area, the same general area, and it gets bought right back up. If you see it here on the 15 minute chart, uh, I'll show it to you real quickly here. This this zone right here, this this 1380, you know, I mean, sure, we've gone down to 1360s, but this 1380 to like $14 zone has just been great support bounce place. I mean, if you're a scalper, you could have been scalping this forever, but you know, if we break over this 1450, we're going to go test that 15. And I'm pretty confident at that point, we're going to get the squeeze going. And this thing's just going to, it's just going to boom. And that's going to be exciting to see. Oh, well, look at uh, uh, MRIN real quick before we end this video uh, has pulled all the way back in here. Let's go to the three minute uh, video, three minute chart. It's pulled in all the way back to my initial entry. So just like I had mentioned earlier, you know, it might form another bear trap. Maybe if it doesn't, then it's like I said, that third day um trend generally isn't as strong as the first two days and that's why i was very very disciplined and took my profits early here we go it looks like it's going to break underneath vwap potentially if it doesn't break underneath vwap this thing is going to get real real crazy uh, so let's see what happens uh just keep an eye on that let me know how you did drop it in the comment section below for me remember to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell if you haven't and smash the like button i'll catch you on the next one